Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Space Trash Scavenger. Now we're going to start a new run. If you want to play along at home, the seed as always, 69420. You can put in whatever world name you want. But basically we're a little spaceman. We start on this cube and we have to, well, as the name implies, scavenge to build our spaceship and then travel about and explore. Uh, and my favorite thing about this game is if you were to step off the side, for example. Oh yeah, gravity is... <laughs> Oh, gravity sticks to whatever you build, which is awesome. But yeah, so we start off with this little thing and we can basically scan to sort of work out what's about. So up there, it's an ice rock. We get some cash for that. We've now got seven credits on us doing a bit of research. But you can also see there's hydrogen qubits and oxygen qubits in there, which means if I get this thing out, my grapple gun, I can then bring that ice rock towards me. And then that's now in my inventory. Very nice. Oh, and by the way, I should probably say this video is sponsored by Paradox. You can check out the game which released today by using the link in my description. But anyway, I'm just going to grab a little bit more ice. So all of these bits come towards me, come over here. And the reason we're getting ice is because this is going to be fuel for our jetpack. And not only our jetpack, we'll be able to strap boosters to our spaceship. So it's not just a floating cube. Right, you can see at the top, we've now been given access to these three cubes. So this one is just like foundation blocks. Very cool. Uh, this one is like a solar block. So basically, this provides us power. And the more free sides there are, the more power it gets us. So you can see that that gives us 50 electricity. If I were to shove one on the end of this... Because that takes up a face, you can see that's now dropped to 40. But the one at the end is 50 because there's five faces free. Uh, there's also this cube, which is called a socket cube. These have sockets on the side, which means I can place buildings on them. However, before we do that, we are under attack because this isn't just a nice little space game. In space, there's always architects space pirates. So we do need to defend ourselves and we need to work out where they're coming from. And in space, there isn't an up. There you go, because underneath... Oi, get back get back. So that is their spaceship. Oh my goodness. Boosh. Right. Okay. There's a load. There's a load of stuff. So let's just quickly go to the grappling hook. Let's bring those towards me. I probably should have scanned first. It's just scrap. It says down the bottom. Right. Was that a bit of it? A chair? I'll tell you what. I'm going to scan it. We can zoom in and scan what's in the chair. A comfy pilot seat. It's aluminium. Ooh. That's actually a little bit rare, so we'll definitely take that in. Oh, you can see here, look, we, we took some damage. So I do have a repair gun, so we can repair that. Should probably repair this cube as well. Right, are we all good? I think we're all good. Okay, so as I was saying, we can place buildings down on these sockets. So if I shove that there, give it a rotate. We have an autonomizer. English, mother... Do you speak it? And in this autonomizer, basically everything I've picked up I can shove over into the autonomizer and it will turn it into like the, the particles. So we'll shove all of those in. We'll hit autonomize. And then you should see coming out there, there's cubes of stuff. So we can walk into these, pick these up. You see bottom right, that's what we've got. Silicon, iron, hydrogen, oxygen, all the good stuff. Uh, this other building, if I place this here, make sure it's facing me. This is the fabricator. So in here we can make loads and loads of stuff. And first off, I'm going to build this biotank because I need food in order to live. And this will create algae for us or algae if you're American. Uh, but as it said there, we need we need some iron. So let's do let's do a bit of scanning and just see what's about. There's a whole fragment over that way. That's probably a bit too far away. That is more whole fragment. What is that? A comms unit. Oh, that could be useful. That is piping. It's got aluminium in. This is... Oh, that's got loads of iron. Okay, that's the iron that we need. Yeah, it's floating towards me, isn't it? Nice. Okay, so whilst I wait for that to come, I should probably try and grab everything else in range. So all of you lot come towards me. I have scanned all of this. So you can see top right. I've now got 154 credits. Very useful. Particularly because up, up that direction is the stock market. Right, anyway, we'll just pull all of these towards me. Right, and then oh, up above, it's very close now. So if I swap to my gun, I can destroy this bit of hole and hopefully if we do the damage boosh it explodes which means i can now grab all the stuff okay so we're getting loads and loads of iron this is good but right now let's head over here let's go see autonomizer all right so with all this space trash in there we can autonomize that and that will get turned into the into the individual stuff so over in the fabricator we should get enough iron that we can afford the biotank 
Uh, in the meantime, I can see because this is using energy and this is trying to use energy, we've got a we've got a power deficit. So whilst that's creating blocks, I'm going to add a few more solar panels onto the end. So that's creating loads of power now, which means down here it's powered. We're no longer in a deficit. Nice. And not only that, we have enough resource for, to make the bio tank. So let's fabricate that. So you can see that is making that. We've still got resources flying at us. Lovely jubbly. We have the tank. Now you might think, oh, well, you need to build another one of these cubes to build the buildings on. No, we can just hop around the other side. We can just shove it on this side. Oh man, this is cool. I love, I do actually really like this. Right, okay. In the bio tank, uh, you can see here we need carbon cubits to make algae. So let's fill that up. That will start creating algae. You can see it's going, it's going green. Aha, and there is the algae. So the algae I'll eat when my when my food bar goes down. You can see that's in the bottom left. It's currently completely full. But uh, that's good to know. If we head to the fabricator, go to items and ammo, we can now create jetpack fuel, which costs hydrogen. I got 15 of that. So let's fabricate some jetpack fuel, which this machine has now coughed out. So we have fuel, which means we can go jetpack. So yeah, I think first let's fill up my, my hydrogen pack because I feel like I might actually go flying. So fabricate two jetpack fuels, please. I need to try and get more hydrogen. Wait, what is that? A squid entity. Okay, I don't want to go near that. It does have hydrogen on it though. Ah, oh, the ice has hydrogen in. Okay, that's good. That is good. So there's a little bit more ice there. So we'll grab that and then... Oh, hang on. I'm being shot by a squid. Ow, ow, ow. My base is taking damage. Die, squid. This is like the Matrix. Die squid. Right, okay, it's down, it's down. Let's just quickly grab all the stuff that it left us. Nuts and bolts and cogs. All right, quickly repair that. Before we go, as this is floating over, let's just quickly destroy this whole fragment. There we go. Make sure we've got a load of the iron. Shove it all in there. Autonomize. Right, now let's head off. So we got 81 jetpack fuel, which is quite a lot, probably. Uh, question is, where, where do we want to head? I can see over that way, there's like... There's some stuff going on. Let's scan this. What have we got? Derelict Fright. Right, so we've got like a wreckage over that way. There's also a planet over there as well. What is that? A oh, that's a squid, is it? Let's head over here. Right, I think because we're in space, I've sort of jetpacked off. And then I don't need to keep wasting my fuel. I will just keep moving over here. So, we man, this I'm realizing how big space is now. Like, <laughs> I hope I don't get sucked into the sun. But yeah, I'm hoping to get close enough that I can use my grappling hook. You see, we're closing in on it now. It's just 300 meters away. All right, 100 meters. I imagine my grapple works. Yeah, 100 meters away. Nice. Okay. Oh, look, there's a man. You're right, dude. What's going on? Oh, he's waving. Ah, oh, he's a junker. All right, so he gave me a laser rifle and said, go in there, clear it out. Well, and then I can I can help myself to all the resources on here. So, oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, squid. A squid. Get back, squid. All right, is that? Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> I was like, is that an enemy? That is definitely an enemy. Boosh. Right. Is the room cleared? No, there's a squid. There's a squid. Get back. Right, okay. I think we've we've cleared this out. Okay, there's quite a lot of um quite a lot of resource in here. There's a container. Ooh, historical data disks. As well as a copper nugget. Yeah, we'll take all of that, please. Anyway, down here is all cleared out. So let's jetpack. Alright, more loot to take. Oh man, all the loot. All the loot. Ooh, we got corn seed. Oh, and these airlock hatches, I can get rid of the bolts in the corner. And they have even more loot. Tell you what, if I stand, if I stand back on this one, I can scan this. So what actually is it? Rare electronics. Yes, please. Right, so gave the historical data disks back to this guy. He gave me some credits. He let me keep the gun as well. Top bloke. But I should probably head back because my inventory's basically full. But I'll grab any, like, bits of scrap on my way past. So destroy this piping as we fly past it. So, boosh, swap to the grapple, bring it all in. Uh, Realise we've gone past the space rig, and then grapple our way to it. Boosh, okay, we landed. <laughs> I'm stood on the side of this building. Right, okay, fill up the autonomizer, autonomize everything. Then what else can we build? The blueprint shop, I think, is a good place to start. So we need a bit of copper for that. So have a little scan around. Is there any, any copper about anywhere? Ah, uh, I see copper down there. Also, it's worth noting, they're uncommon electronics. So probably if I go to there, that will have some more electronics in. I am autonomizing some electronics already, so maybe I will have enough. Yes, look, I've got enough. Right, fabricate that then. I think we'll shove the blueprint shop down 
this way. So shove it on there. And then within the blueprint shop, we can unlock loads of new stuff. So there's all sorts of like cubes with gravity only on one side. There's batteries, walls. Ah, the farm cube. We probably want that to grow our corn. But to start with, we need a jump drive so that we can actually move our rig about. Now that costs 150 credits. I got 227, so that's good. Oh, there's also a thruster cone. I think this actually allows me to move my ship about. This just allows me to jump to like the next area. But that thruster cone costs 2,000 credits. Uh, that's that's nuts. Especially, uh, that's crazy. Okay. Okay, for now, jump drive. And then we can go to our fabricator and we can build the jump drive. We've got all the resources. Decent. Okay, so fabricator is making that. We can then shove this wherever we want. Now, I'm thinking probably shove another cube on the side. And then we can shove that on there. Now, oh, and it's worth noting, once we jump, we cannot go back. So let's not jump yet. We've got some we've got some things to explore over that way, remember? Now, I also need a bed as well, but I need a bit more iron. So whilst we're exploring, we'll go look for some iron. But yeah, for now, let's just head over to these signals. Ooh. That's kind of small. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I'm burning up. I'm burning. I just checked to see whether you could grapple to the sun. And uh, you can. Quite handy for getting a bit of momentum, but don't go too close. It's pretty warm. Anyway, that was the ship we visited before. I think I'll probably explore both of these whilst we're here. So we got this planet here. Oh, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, another weird man to talk to. All right, he wants me to craft steel for him. He's given me a furnace blueprint, though, so I'm not going to complain. Does mean I'm going to have to come back, though, which is quite annoying. Meanwhile, we'll just fly over to this planet. Should probably scan it first as well. Signal detected. Okay. All right, land on here. Oh, no, that doesn't bode well. Oh, I've got a trash vac blueprint. Yeah, and there's a container with some... Oh, some jetpack fuel. Thank you. So we'll eat that up, and then I guess we just head back. So I love walking around. <laughs> I love walking around planets like this. It's all right. I just flung myself off here. Oh, we got a lot of debris to try and dodge. Oh, we are absolutely flying though. 25 meters a second. Okay, I'm a little bit hungry as well. Let's let's eat some algae as we float through space. Yummy. All right, we are back. Let's land here. That has loads of iron that we need. So destroy that. All right, so as you can see in the top right, I'm tired. I've lost some health. And if I want to build a bed, I need some iron. So we're going to have to go get some iron. So you can see there's loads over there, 150 meters away. There's a few bits up there as well. So we'll just float about clearing up all the iron. We have to destroy this piece. So eat some of that meat. Then we just pick up all these pieces. And then we should have loads of iron to play with. All right, we'll land back on our thing. Autonomize everything. And we can queue the bed as well as... Oh, just look. There's conveyors everywhere. <gasps> I like conveyors. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing conveyors come out of these, do they? Yeah, look. That's gone in on the side and then out on this side. So I've just placed a few more socket things down. Which Oh, I can put my bed anywhere. doesn't need to be on a socket. Okay, we'll shove my bed up this end so I've got a nice view when I wake up in the morning. You cannot sleep unless you build a roof over your bed. Really? I'm in space. What's a roof going to do? Okay, so I think I've got to build a wall. I think I want a wall with a window. So window there, window there. Roof on, I mean, half a roof on top. Can I sleep now? Yay. Oh, the stock price has moved. Yeah, I need to get into stock market stuff. Hey, oh, look, when I wake up, there's more debris I can have. Anyway, we can now place our furnace down. So in there, we can put different cubits. So I think if I want to make steel... Do I combine iron and carbon? Yes, yeah, steel. Sweet. So we will turn that on. But look, we've got a power deficit. I need more. I need more solar panels. So solar panels require silicon and aluminium. So we'll fabricate a load of those. All right, then I'll put the solar panel. I guess it makes sense to put it down this end. Yeah, each of these should give us 40. And I think we just needed 80, right? So we should have plenty now. But yes. Oh, look at that. You see the size of that steel bar. Ready? Watch that. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, so we need five of those to take it to the bloke thing over there. We also need a trash vac, which is a weapon. What does that do? Oh, sucks up items near you. Oh, Ooh, that sounds good. Um, also, bottom left, I'm I'm very much out of fuel for my jetpack as well as food. So I need to get some food on the go. So if we hop around this side, we can put carbon in there to make algae sorted. Right, back over this way. No, I just need to make some jetpack fuel. So let's grab a load of that. And then we're good to head back over there with the steel. I also sort of want to know just how long of a spaceship I can make. Like, is there a limit? 
I don't want to do a Josh, but I sort of want to do a Josh. Oh, look at this. You can buy drones in the shop. A mining drone. Oh, because look, the next quadrant is mining and then agriculture. Oh, so that's like where we end up next. That's sort of what we're going to get. Anyway, let's eat some algae. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, half food. That will do. Warning, low fuel. Oh, I did. I forgot to eat my fuel. All right, hang on. Just shove those in. There we go. Oh, look, I got 69 fuel. Nice. All right, awesome floating about space. I should probably scan stuff. Oh, I'm burning up. I'm too close to the sun. All right, grab those as we come past. This is so... I love this game. By the way, it was made by two people. I am impressed. So fair play, you two devs. Absolutely insane. All right, and then around here, here's the man that needs the steel. Yep, you can have a mate. Yes, I do want a reward. Oh, we're getting the mining drone. Sweet, look, it's a mining drone. Right, so if I just let that go do stuff, does that just mine? So what do we want to mine? We want to find something to mine on the way back. I imagine this guy just like destroys the big space debris stuff that float past. Oh, wow, I'm burning up. I'm burning up. I got low health now. Man, the sun is hot. Oh, I can't believe I just lost like nearly all of my health. Actually, I have a medipack. So let's take that. That gave me, oh, like 20 health. Not great. Oh, look how much algae I've made while I've been gone. Yummy. All right, nice. Mining drone. Go get those. Where is it going? All right, well, let's start getting all this space debris. I'm cleaning up space. I've had enough. It's like me in real life. I can only live in muck for so long. All right, so let's make this trash vac thing. It better be good. That's all I'm saying. It was very expensive. Then make a load more jetpack fuel. Okay, does this have a better range? Oh, it does have a better range. Oh, this is way better. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. This is good. All right, what is that? A fan unit. Ooh. Well, let's suck all of this up. Oh, no, my fuel's low. All right, this is a hazardous zone, so I may need a weapon. Yeah, I can see there's two squid over there. All right, so we try and do some damage. Get it in the eye, get it in the eye, get it in the eye. Phew, that was close. Yeah, there's another one. I've just realized how low my health is. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, oh, asteroids have mineable rocks on them, do they? All right, hang on, there's another squid. There's another squid. I've got very low health. I've got very low health. Oh, that was close. Oh, I just shot my mining drone. Sorry, mate. Ah, there's another one. There's another one. Ah, run away. There's another two. Ah, I got to destroy the cube. Okay, got it. I've only got two health. Sod this. I'm out of it. Nope. Oh, I'm dead. No. I can recycle my body. What a world we live in. But yeah, look, there's my dead body. Sod it. Let's go get my dead body. So we've got to try and destroy this thing. This has the, the fuel I need to fuel the jump drive, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm doing it. Oh my god. Ah, there's so many. There's so many. Where'd you all come from? So get it in the eye. Get it in the eye. Boosh. Oh, look, there's my dead body. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, but take all of that stuff. Thank you very much. All right, I'm just focusing on the cube now. Screw the enemies. All right, it's down. We took out the entity nano factory. All right, so we can pick up that resource, and then we can go make some jump drive fuel. Oh, they're chasing me. They're chasing me. <laughs> oh, look, there's an escape pod. I've got low fuel, but let's go grab that. Yum. All right, well, completely filled up the autonomizer. We'll say autonomize all that stuff. That's going to leave a big old pile. All right, look at all that stuff. Give me, give me. Then I can shove this entity nano fragment in there. And I'm pretty sure that turns into the fuel I need to enable us to use our jump drive. All right, but before we jump, I have one more job I got to do. Fabricate loads of base cubes. Fabricate loads of solar cubes. Oh, I got promoted to level two. Thank you, Space Corp. Oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, no, I'm being attacked. Oh, boy, they're down there. They're down there. Stop destroying my stuff. Oh, what? Right, get back, get back. Right, that's one down. Oh, man, there's so many. What is that? I don't know. I need to scan it. I don't want to scan it. It's destroying my base. Stop destroying my base. Right, there's one down. Oh, man, that was stressful. That was stressful. Okay, repair gun. My ship nearly broken too. I guess that's the, the downside of doing like a really long spaceship. Okay, more solar panels. And then more just normal blocks. Right, and then suddenly I am all on my own because my base, <laughs> my base has the, the HUD UI marker thing because it's so far away. I feel like I probably should have built like to the sun or something. Anyway, now we're back. We'll hop down here and we're going to use this warp drive. So there is the entity base cube. Does that, oh, that doesn't go in. Hang on. I haven't made fuel yet. I haven't made fuel yet. So in the fabricator, jump drive fuel. There we go. Fabricate. So now that's finally getting made. There we go. We got it. We can now shove it in here. Oh, look at the size of this map. Right. So we are here in the drop zone. We can choose to go to the mineral rich area, an asteroid cluster, 
or another one. I reckon mineral rich. It's two light years away, but uh, let's go. I want to see how this thing works. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got eaten. <laughs> Whoa. And then we've spawned. Whoa. We've spawned by this awesome blue planet. Look at that. Man, there's so much more to explore here. I am loving this game. Not going to lie. It's sort of like it's like space raft, isn't it? But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and you like this game, please check it out using the link in my description. Really, we've got to support these smaller, smaller developers. A team of two made this game. So I'd say it's well worth a play. Anyway, peace, love, and whatever happens in here stays in here. Bye!